Hi everyone, it's Rax bringing you an absolutely godly trick for Season 25 in Diablo 3, how to get an infinite amount of soul shards and gems using the brand new Darkening of Tristram event. Now, I have tried this on different difficulties with a little bit of varying results, but I can guarantee you it works on T16. It did work for me a little bit on T14 and T15, but I can't guarantee it, but it always works on T16. So if your character's strong enough, fire up T16, whatever your best key farmer is, and let's get going. I'm going to use the Ina Ally Monk. I assume most of you are playing that, but you can use whatever you want. God, DH, anything. Go to Act 1, go to the Old Ruins where the Darkening of Tristram event is, and head on down. Into the portal we go, and we are heading up here into the actual event. We are looking for the Butcher on Floor 2, and we're looking for Leoric, the Skelly King, on Floor 3. Alright, so let's just get on in here, just start killing some stuff. Floor 1, we're just trying to get off of it. So keep on flying to floor two. The butcher will always be in a corner guarded by two doors. Should be right down here. Here it is. Here's the corner guarded by the two doors. Hop on in. Adios. Look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's all seven of the soul shards. Keep going. Floor three. Leoric's entrance is always heading up. It's always heading northwest into his little hole. So try to go northwest like this. Boom. Here it is. Come on forward. Open the gate. He's right there. Boom. Look at that. All seven soul shards again. Then you can leave the game and do it all over again. Now, this is a way to get infinite soul shards. How, do, how are you going to get infinite gems out of this? Just for demonstration purposes, let me put away these gems that I've got right here. You can just salvage them. And look, we're just printing gems. Printing so many gems, how beautiful it is. Okay? One more time for clarity. New game, T16. It was working for me on T14 and 15. Maybe you could do it a little bit lower. And it still works, but you're not guaranteed to get all of the gems. I've gotten all the gems every time that I've done it on T16. Old Ruins, Darkening of Tristram, in we go. Same thing. Floor 2, Butcher in the corner. Floor 3, Leoric, always hiding while you're traveling to the northwest. It's kind of like some old-fashioned D2 map reading. All right, so just get off of Floor 1 as fast as you can. If you see a shrine, click it, kill the elite. It'll trigger your Ingeom, then you can fly a lot faster. All right, so Butcher's in the corner, guarded by two doors. Here he is. Boom. Mmm, soul shards, or mmm, gems, or maybe a mixture of both. Floor three, remember, you need to be traveling northwest. Here we go. Open the gate. Dink. Boom. And that's it. It's literally that easy. You can farm this to your heart's content. Way a thousand times better than any other method to get these. So maybe you say, oh, you want to know what? I want to save my slivers of terror and my dregs of lies. But the other gems, I don't need those. Okay. You got yourself a nice little, look how many gems I got. And look how many copies I would have had four of each of the shards that I wanted in the blink of an eye. Go ahead, farm to your heart's content, share with your friends right now because this event is not gonna last forever. Have a good one.